look at the islands and you might wonder what these big orange mounds are out there. Those are actually artificial termite mounds, and it's part of our enrichment program, which I'll talk about in just a second. So you might say, well, why in the world do we want an artificial termite mound out on a chimpanzee island? Well, if you um, have ever read um, books by Jane Goodall, especially a book called In the Shadow of Man, or seen some of the early documentaries, um, one of the uh, really important findings that, that she came up or came out with was that um, she watched chimpanzees actually make a tool to get termites out of the termite mound. So um, it's actually a, a great film clip uh, filmed by uh, Hugo Van Lauwick. Uh, and it shows that there's baboons and there's chimpanzees all around this termite mound. And termite mounds aren't like ant mounds. They're actually, uh, you can't really knock them over. They're like, they feel like concrete. They're really hard. And so both the chimpanzees and the baboons wanted to eat the termites. And the baboons are, are just picking the, the termites that are outside the mound and picking them up and eating them. And there's not a whole lot of those. The chimpanzees, however, uh, they actually go to a tree, they take branches from the trees, they kind of take, peel off all the other extraneous leaves and twigs from that, and they then take that twig and they insert it into the termite mound. And they're so smart that they realize that the termites will cling on to that branch, and then they pull the branch out and they're left with a stick full of termites and they eat the termites like that. And so in this film clip, you see all these chimpanzees doing termite fishing and eating all these termites and the baboons are left without anything else to eat. And so the chimpanzees have, have actually outcompeted the baboons just from their intelligence. And it's intelligence that comes from learning because not all chimpanzees know how to do this. Uh, chimpanzees learn the ability to use tools from their, their parents and their groups. The reason we have these artificial termite mounds out there is because it's part of our enrichment program. We try to create something that happens in nature here for them to be able to do. So what we'll do is we've got canisters, these PVC canisters, and we can fill those canisters with oatmeal, or other good stuff, and they actually go inside the termite mounds. We can actually screw them right in, and the chimpanzees will take a twig, use that twig to get all the goodies out of that termite mound. And when we fill them, you'll see all the chimpanzees gathered around the termite mound. They know what to do. They know how to react to them. Um, and it's really neat to watch. And so that's not the only enrichment they get. And by enrichment, I mean, um, it's something special, something out of the ordinary, something to break up any monotony in their day. So the chimpanzees get several enrichment items every day, each chimpanzee, and that's just one of them. So I'm in our enrichment trailer now, and you might wonder, well, why am I in a mask? Well, we do every possible way to prevent uh, any um, germs that we might have from going to the chimps. And since these items are going to the chimps, I need to be masked. Even though I'm not gonna touch them or anything, I still wanna be masked just to make sure that we're taking every possible precaution. So in our enrichment trailer, uh, people will come in and help us make the enrichments. We've got a great staff of volunteers that help us, or we've got our own staff that actually make these. And some of these things are, are pretty simple. Um, so you'll see things like tubes here and like Kongs that you might give for your dogs, but we'll fill those with really good things. And the chimps will spend a whole lot of time actually going through those Kongs and digging out the treats. Something that I really like is down here we have what we call rollers. And the rollers are a round cylinder wrapped in um, AstroTurf or artificial turf. And we can stick things in that and the chimps can actually forage through it. Um, this is really good if we have chimps that have to be confined inside for any reason. It's a really good enrichment for them to use. And some things you might say, well, why in the world do we have these? We've got like a lot of things that you might give to your dogs, like these Nyla bones here. For some reason, we have some chimps that absolutely love to suck on these Nyla bones. We'll freeze them, we'll put things on them, but they absolutely love them. Um, 
And over here, so not all our enrichments, in fact, we try and make most of our enrichments not food-based. A lot of our enrichments are just kind of fun. So you see things like bubbles here. Uh, we actually have bubble making machines that we'll put in the buildings and the chimps will really like kind of the bubbles floating around. Um, there's things like bells, there's um, little balls made out of fire hose, um, and the chimps really enjoy all of these things.